I'm here at the Vivo Tech Day and Vivo is celebrating 10 years of its presence in India. Over here, they've showcased all that they've introduced in their phones and the kind of innovations that they've brought to the country. I'll take you through all of them in this video. If you're here for the first time, I'm Aisha. You're watching Track and Tech English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. So let me start off by talking about the camera technology. Of course, Vivo works with Zeiss and there were some very interesting demos out here. Firstly, take a look at the difference T-Star coating makes to Vivo's cameras. Reflection, poof, it's so good. The reflection that T-Star coating on Vivo phones cuts out is definitely better than most other flagships that I've tried till date. Another interesting demo was that of the Zeiss Apo lenses. Now, if you're wondering what Apo does, it's basically used to cut out chromatic aberrations that are a problem with lenses on smartphone cameras, not just smartphone cameras, even DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. To make an apochromatic lens, you have to bunch multiple lenses together to ensure that color fringe is cut out. And you know, color fringing is a fundamental problem with smartphone cameras when all the colors don't merge together. So you will sometimes see purple fringing or green fringing. All of those problems are solved by the Apple lenses on the telephoto camera that Vivo uses. Zeiss also showcased how it does its testing processes and they had a testing chart to showcase for it as well. But they told us that they don't use testing charts anymore because people shoot differently in real world situations. Like if you and I were shooting, we would be shooting different objects, different colors. There's this very interesting thing that they said where they showcased a Coca-Cola can, but they had taped out the Coca-Cola logo. And yet we could recollect the color and that is etched in our memory. And that is exactly how they do their testing now with real world products to figure out if the camera is able to capture the right colors, not just of real world products, but also skin tones, which is very, very important. And skin tones are something that humans recollect very well. And we do that here at Tracker Tech English as well, because skin tones are the most difficult thing to capture when you're shooting with a smartphone camera. And generally, most phones mess it up, Vivo doesn't. Then of course, no Zeiss section would be complete without the simulated Zeiss portrait lenses. And this time around, the B-Star portrait lens was the new one. And of course, all these portraits look fantastic. We've spoken to Keshav here on podcasts about the kind of camera improvements they bring to the X100 series. Well, we got to see the X100 Ultra and the improvements that they've made with the updates as well. Keshav. Why do you think the Vivo X100 Ultra is the best telephoto camera yet on a smartphone? The best telephoto sensor, yeah. the best telephoto lens and Vivo's algorithms. Combine and you have the best telephoto camera in the world. The kind of macro shots that it can take is mind blowing. It's really good. In fact, even macro video can be shot. And now you can do 4K, 60 FPS, Dolby Vision videos across cameras and across zoom ranges on the X100 Ultra. Now that was a Zeiss collaboration, but Vivo also got shot this time around. Yes, shot sensation alpha. That is the tough class that is used on the X100 series. We got a live demo of how they are stress tested. So I did a couple of tests myself. So the short sensation alpha glass, we actually got up to two meter height and we dropped it on proper stone, like the one I'm standing on right now. And nothing happened to it, obviously, because they stress tested so many times. We also had a pinball, a very heavy pinball, actually, if you look at it, and we dropped it on the glass and the glass did break. And by the way, the most fun that I had at this tech day was when I could play that pinball machine with shot glass for obstacles. Damn cool stuff here. Yeah. Of course, the Vivo X Fold 3 Pro's ultra thin glass, which folds and which can be folded multiple times with very minimal crease. Even that is made by Shot, and we got a demo of that too. Now in the final section, there were a bunch of things. Basically, Vivo showcased what they're doing for India and how they're doing things for India, along with all of the partners that they work with. Now there we saw partners that actually made the battery chargers. We saw the PCB boards for the battery and the capacitors as well. It's damn old stuff. I got to see that live for the very first time. Pretty intriguing for a tech nerd like myself. You know what, all of that unbox boxings that we do, all of the boxes are made in India as well, to spec, according to Vivo's requirement. Holding around or the main frame that is used for the phones, that is also made in India. And more importantly, batteries end to end are also manufactured in India by this company, which is a subsidiary of the TDK group. And this group, if you recollect, actually made cassette tapes. I mean, I don't know if you guys are as old as me, but I remember burning songs on cassette tapes 
So yeah, that was nostalgic. When you're talking about the battery, not just the battery, the cell, all the parts that go along with it, everything is manufactured, assembled, stress tested in India on prototypes that too. We've also showcased how they make their back materials, which is very, very interesting. There was something called a 3D material, which is basically like ferrous uh, or iron structure. And basically what that does is it sort of reacts to magnets and there's like a liquid kind of thing. And we kept it on top of the magnet and that whole, you know, shape would change. And in whatever orientation you moved it along, in whatever permutation combination you moved it, it would change that shape and you could sort of like, uh, put that on the back cover itself, which is damn cool. And we also, for the very first time, saw V40s, purple color, like India specific color that is coming, which is damn cool. We were also working with local artists and really good artists to actually make back covers and wallpapers and stuff like that. That's really coming soon, but right now we got a showcase of that. And I really love the designs. I really want that wallpaper on my phone as well. And finally, like how you have logos of brands, you also have audio identities of brands. For example, Netflix has its very unique, right? So Vivo has also created a musical logo that will obviously become you know very popular in the future i'm presuming so that was really good plus for the 10-year anniversary they created this soundscape which was a spatial soundscape of in sounds from india basically and it used the left the right and the front and the back channel so there was a four channel audio sounds really good and for the final bit there were two kids two kids who created inventions right out of india that were fantastic. And they were doing this for the Vivo Ignite platform. You know, they win cash prizes for creating innovative stuff out of India. One of the kids actually made a farming equipment that will help farmers do all the tasks that they need to do. And that equipment was also portable. So when they want to harvest, the different tasks that they have to do, they could do on that equipment itself, which is damn cool. And the really cool innovation was actually hidden behind a tin foil because it's patent pending and he doesn't want anybody to copy. This is a kid, mind you. And you know what he created? He created a contraption that can actually separate oil from the ocean and get 75% of it out as well, which I think is very important for the nature and the environment. I really hope he gets his patent granted. So these were the things that we experienced here at Vivo's Tech Day at 10 year anniversary. Of course, iQOO was also present showcasing their 200 watt charger and the Q1 supercomputing chip as well. These are the kinds of things that we generally don't get to see when we're testing phones, the insides, how things are made. So it was good fun for me. I hope it was good fun for you as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe. Did that